All right, now let's go on to the rough sketches. And here I collected some reference on more poses that I feel would be uh, good. You know, some of these really nice photo shoots, uh, I feel it would be really, really nice to add to um, my illustration. And I really, really actually like this one. This looks really, really pure and kind of like what I want to go with, but maybe with some more saturated colors like this one, for example. So I'm going to probably uh, do um, a refined version, maybe a mix between one and three, since I do like the swing idea, but I also like the windy kind of free look. So I'm going to go and kind of blend the two together as like my rough. Um, and the reason why I'm not doing this on my um, watercolor paper is because I have to draw very, very carefully on my watercolor paper or else I'm going to mess it up with the texture. So I'm going to just go with a rough layout first. And once I'm satisfied with it, then I'm going to transfer it onto my watercolor. So anyways, let's just get started. So I'm going to actually go with more of a mix. So I'm going to keep with the same, um, the same kind of frontal view. nose here. Maybe her mouth would be more open. And then her eyes would be more like tranquil, more kind of peaceful, more uh, not as open, but just kind of like caring looking, more tender. So therefore I will make the eyes a little bit more full. And I'll add some blushes. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it better. Love the bangs. Maybe let's give her some braids on the sides just to kind of give some nice flair. Let's give her some bangs that kind of go over her other hair. So it's kind of like the side bangs. Let's give her some flower crowns. It's not perfect, just kind of like, you know, some roses, some leaves. And of course, I drew the boundary here, but I can always go over it. What I ma what matters is, you know, what kind of pose that I want to do. So I kind of want like a softer feel. I'm going to draw the teeth. And like, of course, this is super, super rough, so it looks kind of ugly a little bit. Um, not super refined yet, but... Let's give her some bows on the sides. Let's give her some striped bows. When it comes to girls, I like the necks a little bit thinner. If you want, you can, you know, kind of block in where the body is. You know, you have your rib right here, your chest. And then our shoulders lifted up a little bit, so you want to push that up a bit. And then the other arm will be a bit droopier downward. Because she's kind of facing more towards us, <clears throat> Her chest won't be as, we're not looking up at her chest very much. So we're going to make her chest a little bit more flat in front of us rather than upward. <clears throat> Let's draw in her little dress. Maybe we'll put in some flowers kind of for her sleeves. I mean, she's a flower girl after all, so gotta make it more themed. I 
Let's give her a little bit of a ruffled um, edge here, just for a different texture. Because she's going to be on a swing, let's kind of draw in where her arms are going to be. So since her arm is a little bit lifted up, her arm will be going in front. Her forearm will be in front of her upper arm. So look like that. And then our hand, you're going to draw the palm box first, then draw in the fingers later. Throw in some ruffles just for a little bit of flair. And let's draw in the flower swing rope thing, whatever it is. Just very, very roughly. You don't need to go super detailed on this. This is just to get a better idea of what we want in the drawing. Since so she's kind of rotating her arm around the swing, I'm going to have this overlap over her arm as if it's kind of like leaning against her arm there. Now here we have the other swing kind of going more inwards so that you have the line going more towards her. We have the other hand. By overlapping the shape, just shows depth. So don't worry too much about um, making everything super precise. Sometimes simple is always better. So there is our little girl. <laughs> and because she's maybe there's wind blowing towards or on the side, let's kind of spread out her hair a little bit. And we'll worry about the background later. Maybe it'll be more of like a blurred kind of background. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.